Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Magic 7 Pro and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. When you boot it up for the very first time you will be presented with a welcoming screen where you get to select your desired language. Now for me it already selected a correct one, English, so now I'm gonna select get started and now I can choose my region. Now this is completely irrelevant. As far as I know, it changes literally nothing, so I'm just gonna stick with this one. And that moves me to terms of use. Now we have terms of use, software license agreement, and basic services statement. And you can tap on details to read exactly what you're agreeing to, but at the end of the day, you do need to select that you have carefully read and agreed to the above terms. Like we all do, without ever tapping on details, we're gonna select continue. Uh, insert SIM card, this again is optional and uh, it allows you to insert a SIM card in order to connect to mobile network. If you use eSIM card you can do that by clicking right here add eSIM instead or you can just select continue if you don't want to insert any kind of SIM card and this will then move you to the Wi-Fi connection page. Again this is again optional so you don't need to connect but by skipping this as well as inserting a SIM card date and time won't be set automatically so you get this show up throughout the setup process and you also won't have the ability to log into google uh, account throughout the setup process and restore apps and data from a cloud backup uh, this is all only while you're going to the setup later on after the setup is finished you can change those settings in the settings now sticking to this option right here we have google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data you can turn all of those off but let's be honest it's google so disabling all this means absolutely nothing to google they will gather the data one way or another and with or without your permission just the difference is we can't prove that they are doing this Anyway, next we have uh, data and privacy, which is uh, very rich coming from Huawei, <coughs> I mean Honor, uh, as they have been uh, spanked so hard that, that they're basically just on a life support right now. Um, so we're just going to tap on continue because it's not like uh, they care about our privacy or anything like that. Uh, next we have device protection, and here we have several different ways of protecting our device, uh, one being fingerprint, face recognition, and under password you have pin, pattern or password. Now the first two options, fingerprint and face recognition, are biometrics and therefore biometrics also require you to have a physical way of unlocking the device. Now the reason for that is biometrics aren't 100% reliable in times where they aren't gonna unlock your device for some arbitrary reason, uh, you would be left with a physical way of unlocking the device through pin par pattern or password, which wouldn't be prone to failure for no reason. Or you just don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, but I would not recommend that. Protecting your device is always a good thing, which I'll be skipping it just for the simplicity. And hence services, uh, you can read what these are and agree or dis or disagree to them uh, by selecting no thanks, which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, user experience improvements later, uh, location services later, uh, keep software up to date. Now, if you don't want to have your phone update automatically uh, to the newest software, you can click right here on this blue text and then select don't enable. Next we have uh, system navigation, gestures, buttons. I'm gonna stick with the gestures which are selected by default and there we go. My device is now set up. So if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.